ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Rob Blog. This edition of Rob Blog is brought to you by the Island's Golden Classics on Swish and also by Starlight, light favorites here on the island, your music for life. Starlight and the Island's Golden Classics on Swish can be heard at our website, www.swish.ca, or tunein.com, search Swish or Starlight, or Simple Radio, search Swish, S-W-I-S-S-S-H, or Starlight, S-T-A-R-L-I-T-E. Remember the names, it's Swish, the island's golden classics, or Starlight Island Bright, music for life. Well, that's just a little commercial, and that's the end of it right there. Well, I got to thinking, you know, if you can't bang your own drum, whose drum can you bang? And it's not like I've got advertisers lined up at the studio door here wanting to advertise on my blog, so <laughs> I took it upon myself, the island's golden classics, and also Starlight. Okay, enough of that. Well, today what I thought I would do is talk a little bit about books. I think it's always a good thing to read a book. And even if you don't read constantly, just to read a few books in a year. And books are not computer screens. Okay? This is a computer screen to my right, although it's not within camera range. And what I have here is a book. So you see there's a, there, there's a difference. One is solid and has lots of pages in it, and the other has a, a, a screen that looks back at you. I'm talking about books tonight. So I'm going to talk first of all, I'm not going to go in depth about these. I'm going to show you a little picture and hopefully you know who they are. So I'm putting on my reader's glasses. Do you see how much smarter I look right now? Is it incredible? Look at, look at the smartness oozing out of these eyes. Here is book number one, which I am going to show you tonight. I just finished this book yesterday. Do you, oh, I shouldn't have shown do you know who this guy is? He gets recognized in airports all over the world. And I mean, when you read this book, all over the world. Well, this is Peter Mansbridge. And this is his uh, new book out. Now, he hasn't been on the National for five years. I think he does a podcast right now. It's in the book. And I know you... Oh, there you can read it. Off the record. See, it's kind of a shiny. Off the record, Peter Mansbridge. I like this. I think he got this in Israel one year. I like this, uh, this scarf. It's very nice. Anyways, there's the back of the book. People saying wonderful things about it. But you know what? I have to tell you, if I met Mr. Mansbridge today, I'd say, Pete, because that's his name, Pete. I'd say, Pete, I just read your book, Pete. Here's the thing, Pete. You better, if there's a second printing, look at the first few chapters, Pete. Because when I read the first few chapters, Pete, got in about, oh, I don't know, so far into the book, Pete, like that, and I went, Nah, this book is not for me. That's what I said, Pete. And in the meantime, I went ahead and I read another book, one of the books here that I have in my pile for you. And after I finished the next book, I thought, you know, Pete's been around a long time. He's done a lot of newscasts. He's watched a, a lot of princesses or princes get married. You know, he's, he's, oh, he's seen all kinds of things, you know, hasn't he? And I thought, give the man another chance. So Pete... If you're watching, I picked up your book again and I started from where I left off and I have to tell you, Pete, I finished the book. In fact, I got uh, yesterday morning, I was thinking about the book so much. I knew I had four or five chapters left to go. Left to go and, and I thought, oh, I'm getting so excited. I can't even talk, Pete. I had a few chapters left to go and I got so excited that I picked up the book, finished it like that. Peter Mansbridge, off the record, not record, it's off the record. <sighs> Good book. So I would suggest getting this. I mean, really, this is a hard copy. It was a gift. They're the most expensive, of course. Here's another cute little book. I like this book. If you've ever been to Paris, I love Paris and Paris loves Rob. Paris cries out for me every time I get off the plane. Paris by Stephen Clark. This is a, this is a good book. Paris revealed. It tells you a lot of the of the the background to Paris, and uh, it just has some funny stories. And it has, if you're going to Paris for the first time, 
Uh, it has uh, some good hints about Paris. And it, see, it even shows you, look at some of these. These are pictures during the war in Paris when they had taxis in Paris drive the troops out to the line. More fascinating facts are within this book. Stephen Clark, it's called Paris Revealed, The Secret Life. Secret Life of a City. You could probably maybe even get this on Amazon. Take a look. Um, you know that book that I left, Mr. Peter Mansbridge, Pete, for? This was the one. Now, this is the uh, number one ladies detective agency. So if you're going to start reading these books, I think he has 24, 25 of them. And by him, I mean Alexander McCall Smith. Um, you might start from the first and go on. Although he does in the first uh, chapter of every book, he does kind of not repeat, but he kind of brings you up to date. I, I love these books. They take you away to, to uh, um, another country. And that, well, it's a continent is Africa. And they, and they take you away. And it's Botswana is the country, in case you're wondering. It's a landlocked country in Africa. But it's the number one ladies detective agency with Ma Ramatswe and Ma Matutsi. Good book. And this is the one. And I've read, I think I'm missing a couple. There's a new one out now. Excellent book. And they're easy to read. Not that they have big print. I don't want to lead you down the garden path. But it's a good book. And once you get to know the characters, you're going to love them. And this is Alexander McCall Smith. This particular book is A Miracle at Speedy Motors. And Ma Ramatsui, her husband, owns uh, Speedy Motors on Tlaquang Road. Okay? Another good book. But any in the series are good. But if you can, go back and start from the first. In used bookstores, you're, you're going to find a lot of them there as well. Now, this is a book that a friend of mine suggested because she knows I love Paris and she loves Paris as well. And I like reading things about Paris. You know, like, whoops, almost flipped that over. Paris Revealed, remember? It's a secret life of Paris. Well, this is a book that um, my friend Geraldine, who... Hello, Geraldine, if you're listening, having your coffee in the morning, if you're watching. Okay, here we are. Um, this is the book she suggested a few days ago for me to get. And she was thinking she would mail the book to the island. I would read it, mail it back to her. And I thought, well, why make Canada Post that rich? So I went on Amazon and I got this book on Amazon. Instead of 20 some dollars, I got it for 10 bucks and change. Now, this was supposed to be a used book. Viewers, I'm telling you. This book, it smells new. It smells like it's in the bookstore. Look at, there's no curls. Nothing is written inside. So when you buy a book on Amazon, um, it will tell you if the book has writing in it or someone's used it for a book report and they've highlighted it. They'll tell you that. This book said it was completely clean. It is. I don't even think whoever got this book, they bent the covers back. It doesn't look like it's been read. Anyways, I'm looking forward to it. The Sweet Life in Paris. Delicious adventures in the world's most glorious and perplexing city. Yes, it can be perplexing too. Especially if you just speak English and you don't know a word of French, you would be perplexed because you'd walk around going, what are these people trying to say to me? Bonjour? Yes, you'll get it. They do speak a different language there. And they speak a different language than in Quebec here in Canada too. It's just different. Anyway, David Leibowitz wrote this book, and I'm looking for it. Haven't started. I haven't really even looked in the front page yet, but I'm going to be starting this in the next couple of days. The Sweet Life in Paris. If I could win 30 or 40 million, if I could, the hobby and I would have a place in Paris, a place in London, a place in Honolulu, and our place here in the island. Oh my goodness. Anyways, The Sweet Life in Paris. So, there's the books for today. If they're not really reviews. It's just to give you an idea of books that are out there and books that you could be reading. Like Peter Mansbridge, my friend Pete. Pete. So pick them up. Read a book. It's good. Get away from your devices. Get off the TV. Get off the videos. Get off the phones. Read a book, viewers. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember, in two, ought, two, two, love and joy be all around. The words we're living by in this year, two, ought, two, two. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends and family to watch. Subscribe if you want to. Other than that, just enjoy watching. And we will see you very, very soon on this very raw blog.
Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye.